Hold up, hold up, hold up. Ladies, we've been waiting on this shit all night. We had men all night. All the ladies in the house, stand up and show these niggas what it's all about in this bitch. Hit it, DJ. Feel my neck, my back, lick my chest like that. My neck, my back, This is my lick one my move right here. Just like that. My neck, my back, lick my chest like that. Yes. Yes, Atlanta, how y'all feeling? Can all the ladies in the house say ho? Say ho! Can all the hoes in the house say ladies? Oh, it's more hoes in this house than that. I've seen more hoes in this house. Do you ever go somewhere and forget you a hoe? Now you fuck around and be at a party, see about two, three motherfuckers you done fucked, you'll be like, Lord, I got to get the fuck up out of here. I feel like a hoe up in here. <laughs> I'm tired because hoism is a motherfucker. It is. Hoism is a motherfucker. Hoism is a motherfucker. But I think the only thing that's funnier than being a hoe is seeing somebody that used to be a hoe. You ever see somebody that used to be a hoe? Now they born again Christian. Now they saved. They done got married, had some children. And they want to be judgmental against you, but they forgot that they used to be a hoe. And my only thing is this. I know everybody should go through a stage in life where they want to get their life right with God. But when you're working on getting your life right, give a motherfucker a sign that you're working on getting your life right. No, because it can fuck you up. I ran into a girlfriend of mine that they hadn't seen in a long time. I was a little bit excited to see the bitch, so I ran up on her, talking to her like we usually talk. I ran up to her, I was like, bitch! Girl, I ain't seen you in a long ass motherfucking time. Girl, remember the last time we was in Atlanta, bitch, we was balling. Girl, we was kicking it with them niggas, we was getting fucked up. Bitch, you was so drunk that night, you fucked a nigga in the truck, bitch. You were drunk in the motherfucker. I said, bitch, what you been doing? She said, I'm saved now. So you know I couldn't let that bitch shine on me. I said, me too. My bad, bitch. Shit, I ain't no shit. Hang some Bibles from your earrings or something, shit. Put on some white gloves. Put some pearl necklaces on or something. Give a bitch a sign that you're working on your life. You ever see a motherfucker that's saved, but they still wear their whole clothes? This bitch got on a halter top with a cross necklace. You be like, come on, bitch. But I'm gonna tell you one thing about hoism is this. If you ever, 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 ever been a hoe ever in your life, you're always gonna have some hoe-like tendencies. You will. And one hoe-like tendency is this. Whenever somebody touch the back of your neck, your mouth gonna fly wide the fuck open. Oh shit, what's wrong, Sister Johnson? Nothing, girl. Just jail that part. Don't curl that. Just jail that part down. Jail that part down. And jail that down. Jail that down. And men, y'all married women, y'all don't know this bitch background. You don't know if she used to be a hoe. But I can tell you a sign to watch for. Watch the signs. When she get out the shower, if she lotion her knees before she lotion her face. Nine times out of ten, this bitch used to be a home. I'm telling you, and it's always men. Men will lead you into hoism. They will. Men will lead you into doing some whole light shit. Like fucking in the ass. Now see, when I said fucking in the ass, some of y'all said straight up, ooh. Ooh, shit. Cause some of y'all sitting out there right now, asshole, sword in the motherfucker. 
Because somebody done convinced you that fucking in the ass is some freaky shit. You sitting in this bitch scared to sneeze because you might lose a kidney in this motherfucker. Two. Oh shit, girl, I got to go to the bathroom, girl. Girl, Junior got my shit all fucked up. Because Junior doesn't convince you that fucking in the ass is some freaky shit. I'm telling you now, you better stop fucking in the ass. You're going to fuck around and lose all elasticity. You're going to fuck around and be at a cookout and go to eat a hot dog. That bitch going to fall straight to the floor. Your kid's going to be like, Mama, is that your hot dog? No, that ain't Mama hot dog. I don't know where that hot dog came from. That ain't Mama hot dog. And one thing about men, once they find out you a hoe, they gonna never let you forget you a hoe. Never let you forget you a hoe. Like I live in Los Angeles, California. My next door neighbor is Monica Lewinsky. I feel so sorry for this girl because she tries to go on with her normal life. Just imagine her years down the line. She's moved on, she's got married, she's got kids. She's got a new job doing her thing. She come home one night from a hard day's work. She trying to get some sleep. Her husband going to nudge on the shoulder. He want to get some head. She like, I'm sorry, sweetie. I'm really, really tired. I had a really hard day at work. Just really want to get some sleep. He going to take like two seconds like the average motherfucker and then going to come out with this shit. Oh, what, a nigga got to be the president and shit to get his dick sucked by you? Just working at Southern Bell just ain't good enough for a bitch like you. I got to be the motherfucking president. So the only way to keep from being labeled a hoe is you got to get a man. Get yourself a motherfucking man. I get so tired of going from city to city and state to state and I hear women talking about they can't find a man. You can find a motherfucking man. Let me tell you something. If you a grown fucking woman and your pussy don't stink, it ain't no reason why you shouldn't be able to find you a motherfucking man. Now if you got a little older with yourself, I understand your frustrations. But you need to find you a motherfucking man. I'm telling you, stop saying you can't find a man. Shit, in today's society, a man could find a motherfucking man. You know why women can't find men? Because we too motherfucking picky. Women are too fucking picky. We worrying about what he driving, how much money he making, who he was fucking before he was fucking us. Fuck that shit. Ladies, we got to learn how to say so what? So what? Everybody's not motherfucking perfect, so what? So what they lie? You know them motherfuckers lie. You got to make a game out of that shit. I dated one motherfucker for five years. This nigga lied so good, I used to call him the Lion King. No, he was sweater God line. You ever see a motherfucker sweater God line? No, I swear to God, I swear to God, I swear to God. He would swear on his mama. I swear on my mama. I swear on my mama. I said, swear on your rims, nigga. Swear on your near rims. See, bitch, see how you tripping, bitch. You tripping. I'm telling you, you got to learn how to say so what. I see so many older women going day to day without a man. You so worried about him being younger than you. Fuck that. The law didn't say you couldn't fuck a man younger than you. You seen the movie that came out two, three summers ago with Angela Bassett? How Stella got her ass waxed? This shit can happen here in Atlanta. I'm telling you, I stay fucking a young boy. I buy Playstations by the dozen. I stand outside the nightclub and wait for them motherfuckers. I be walking around talking about, got that Madden 2000, nigga, got that Madden 2000. NBA Live, motherfucker, what's happening? What's happening, nigga, what's happening? Got that new FUBU sweatsuit, nigga, what you like? What you like? You got to learn how to say so what? Then some bitches, I see them go through so much shit. Like Halle Berry, Lord bless Halle Berry hard. Niggas just take her through too much shit. But I realized that Halle just make too many motherfucking mistakes. First of all, she left her husband, David Justice. And now she's married to Eric Benet. 
don't get me wrong, the motherfucker's cute. But financial wise, that bitch went from first class to coach. Eric Benet will never have the money that David Justice has. And how can you leave a man with championship rings for a motherfucker wearing toe rings? I don't understand that type of bullshit. That's some soft ass shit to me. And see, my thing is this, if you gay, fuck it, be gay. But don't do all that old gay on layaway soft ass shit. I like a rough ass motherfucking man. I'm the kind of woman, I don't even want to see my man in the motherfucking tub. Nigga, take a shower. I wish the fuck I would come home and you soaking. I know you ain't in this bitch soaking. You better be doing the dishes in this bitch. That's what you better be doing. I don't want to see you soaking, that's all. No, because it's a cold to that soft shit. It's a code to the soft shit, fuck that. First of all, real men don't put lotion on their ass. What is you lotioning your ass up for? The ass is supposed to match the nuts dry. It's a code to this shit. Find y'all a motherfucking man. I'm telling you, like Quake said, some sisters was tripping. Some sisters was tripping, like uh, Juanita Jordan. She was motherfucking tripping. She tried to act like she was going to leave Michael Jordan. This bitch, but you got to admit, she did some old murder. She wrote Angela Langsbury type of shit. She went out and hired a private investigator to follow him around for six years. Do you know the amount of dirt you could have on a motherfucker for six years? When I heard this shit, I didn't have but one thing to say. Juanita better not call my house with no bullshit. <laughs> Bitch, don't call me. No, because you a bad bitch when you decide you're going to leave Mike. Do you know how rich this motherfucker is? You're going to leave Michael Jordan? I mean, after you leave Michael Jordan, the only other rich black person you could marry is Oprah. And I don't know if you want to change your diet up like that. I'm telling you, that shit was traumatic for single women all over the country. To find out Michael Jordan was getting ready to be single, I don't know how it affected y'all, but, but when I heard the shit, I was in my car, I stopped at the red light, I started doing motherfucking sit-ups in the car, I said, oh shit! Fuck sisterhood, every bitch for a goddamn self. Now, find you a motherfucking man. So what he ain't cute? So what he ain't motherfucking cute? Just don't go nowhere with him, shit. Oh, that's how they do us. That's how they do us. You know who the fuck you are. Be talking about, I'd like to meet your friends. Bitch, I told you ain't got no friends. Go on with that bullshit. Everybody got a man. Guess who got a man? Y'all gonna be shocked like a motherfucker. What's the little tennis player, girl? This the, the fly, this the tennis player. Now Serena Venus. Venus Williams got a man. She got a fine ass Italian boy. This motherfucker is fine. They had pictures of him in the USA Today laying out on the beach, getting a suntan. He laying there getting golden brown, laying in the sun. This bitch laying up in his arms looking like this. I said, damn, this bitch got a man. Oh, y'all know that bitch ain't easy on the eyes. Fuck that shit. I ain't the best looking bitch in the world, but I got one bitch beat. That's Venus Williams. That bitch done won every tennis tournament there is to win. They ain't put on a box of Wheaties yet. Kids all over the country be crying like a motherfucker. Mama, I don't want no cereal. I don't want to run fast. <laughs> I 
No. No, I look at Venus Williams, and you know what I say? I say, God has a sense of humor. No, he does. He does. God has a sense of humor. God has created each and every one of us. And believe it or not, he has given each and every one of us a flaw or two. Some more noticeable than others. As for me, myself, I have no body hair. Hair does not grow on my entire body. Which means I have to draw my motherfucking eyebrows on every fucking day. What I'm trying to explain to y'all is I'm part seal of this bitch. You know what I'm saying? I'm subject to any motherfucking minute. But I'm convinced that God had a good time when he was creating us. He got creative with the shit. I'm convinced he told St. Peter one day, he said, St. Peter, I feel like doing something fly, St. Peter. St. Peter said, well, do what you do, God. He was like, well, get out of my way. He said, I'm getting ready to make a black woman. I'm going to make a young. I'm going to make a talented. I'm going to give her some tennis skills where she'll be renowned around the world. But watch the face on this motherfucker. Bam! Venus Williams. I'm convinced that God sat on his throne. He told St. Peter, he said, I feel like doing something fly today. St. Peter said, well, do what you do, God. He was like, well, get out of my way. He said, I'm getting ready to make a black woman. I'm going to make a young. I'm going to make a talented. I'm going to give a beautiful face with a wonderful personality. One of the top paid lawyers in New York City. But watch the body on this bitch. Bam! Star Jones. Woo! Star Jones is built like a 2002 Escalade. You be looking at that bitch like this bitch sure would look good on some dubs. I swear to God. I don't give a fuck. I ain't gonna never be on the view no motherfucking way. Now big girls don't get mad. Big girls don't get mad. See, if I was talking to any other race of women, I feel like they would get upset. But I know black women, see, it takes more to hurt a black woman's self-esteem than a motherfucking joke. Black women, we have the highest self-esteem than any other race of women. Tell you. No bullshit. I was walking down the street in New York City, seeing a black lady laying on the ground. I just looked at the bitch. That bitch looked up at me and said, don't hate. Don't hate, bitch. Don't hate. So find you a motherfucking man. I believe that God has put each and every one of us here to be loved and to love each other. And love is a beautiful thing, especially when you finally find that one that you really, really love. I'm talking about that kind of love where y'all lay in bed and fuck all day long. Don't wash. Lay in bed and eat a bowl of Fruit Loop cereal together. Then after a while, he smack you on the ass and say, boo, go make me a grilled cheese sandwich. You go down to the kitchen, butt ass naked to get make him a grilled cheese sandwich. You standing up to the, to the stove, butt ass naked, holding your titties up from falling in the frying pan. You got dried up, come on your leg. One track of your weave hanging down. Your head rag twisted like a motherfucker, but you flipping that sandwich like you're supposed to. Oh, that's when the dick is good. And you don't know dick like I know dick. Dick is a beautiful thing. You know how you can tell you got a man with some good dick? When you got a crush on him, but he got a restraining order on you? Oh, that's when the dick is good. Because good dick will make you take a brick and bust a window out. Good dick will make you take a key and scratch his car up. Good dick will make you be friends with his baby's mama. Be taking that bitch Easter shopping. And it took me, it took me 30 years to realize this. Dick don't have to be big to be good. I hate to say it. I hate to say it. I hate to say it, but I got a message for all the men tonight. As women, we understand that everybody don't have a big dick. We're not going to hold that against y'all no more. 
But on behalf of all the women, I want to say this. When you don't have a big dick, don't show up with a big dick man's conversation. And by that, I mean this. When you have a big dick, we will allow you to speak to us in a certain kind of way. As a matter of fact, we like you to be verbally aggressive with us from time to time. We like to make y'all mad so y'all can show out and shit. We like that type of shit. Like when you have a big dick, we don't mind you doing like this to us. So where the fuck you been? I've been calling you all motherfucking afternoon. I've been calling your job. I've been calling your cell phone. Where the fuck you been? But when you don't have a big dick, lower your motherfucking voice. Don't speak to me like that. When you don't have a big dick, this is how you supposed to say that same statement. I was worried about you. I couldn't find you. I thought something happened to you. I've been calling your job. I've been calling your cell phone. I was getting ready to call your mama. And some of y'all dick so small, y'all don't need to say shit. Just hand a bitch a note. Oh, you was looking for me. Y'all, my name is Samoa. Y'all been wonderful. Thank y'all so much. Good night, y'all. Thank y'all.